What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. I got a special guest in the building. It is Mo Lowry. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Y'all better get that one time for the one time and get your inhalers out, man. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, what you say? Straight up, man. I really appreciate you rocking with me. You know, hey, I told you when I wrote you, man, it was just awesome to actually see you respond and rock with me. I really appreciate it, dog. Vice versa, man. I wouldn't uh, been, the energy the people in the community gives helps me keep going. So it's like I wouldn't be a uh, a real content creator if I ain't have people watching the content I created. So it's good to you know chop it up with them every so often just to say much appreciation and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So one of the questions I had was, what was the moment you knew you should start uploading videos? <laughs> uh, so I do comedy, and uh, before I. And I grew up on comedy, on some like Comic View and Death Comedy Jam and all that. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to make my impression on stage and, and I'll take my talents to the internet after I built a solid fan base from going to these different open mic shows and things of that nature. And then in my town, folks would never come to my comedy shows, but will always tell me how funny I am. So I throw a comedy show and no one would come up and then they're like, damn, didn't you just have a comedy show? Yeah, I was supposed to go, but such and such, such and such happened. I'm gonna make sure I go to the next one. But then I'll throw the next one and they don't have the same thing happen again. Oh, didn't you just, man, I, I was supposed to go to this one. And yeah, you know, I'm finna just talk about what I want to talk about. And then that weekend, Goku got whooped by Jiren for like an hour. And I said, you know what? I got to talk about this. I ain't never seen Kakra get done this dirty. So upload that video and it kind of just kept pushing from there. Man, no doubt. You you ain't lying about that Goku fight, man. I, I saw it. I was like, yo. I actually used to watch yours for the commentary, man. It'd be like the highlights after a football game. I'd be like, <laughs> fears the load. Straight up. <laughs> like, yeah, and, 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 that, and that's right. what kind of kicked it off. It was just a trickle effect. Straight up. So how long have you been uploading content? Uh, man, I've been uploading content for a while from like, I'll say like 2011, but I've only been noticed by the people as far as my content creation for like maybe four years now. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's what's yeah. up. So now I got to give you a shout out for this, man, because I saw it and I was happy. How did it feel hitting that 100K subscribers, man? All right, let's go 100K. It felt good first and foremost because uh, my pages are always on thin ice. So I'm always subject to be online one day, be offline the next day, just off of like copyright or maybe I offended somebody that reported me and stuff like that. So to actually be able to cross the 100K milestone, it's cool. It was a, a blessing indeed. Yeah, because uh, I... Yeah. You're right, because I did see you made that video talking about, hey, I got to delete some of them so they don't come get me. I was like, because mm -hmm. <laughs> like, now I'm at 100K, they got to like reevaluate the page. I got a message today that they checking my subs to make sure they get rid of all the spam accounts and things of that nature. So after this little whatever uh, phase they going through is kind of fixed, then I can kind of resume regular schedule programming. But it's like I'm a little hot right now, so I got to, I don't want to lose my page, man. I feel you. I feel you. So, do you have any advice for new content creators coming up? I'll say trial and error and uh, never really be afraid to reinvent yourself because what I am today is just like a product of all the things I failed in. Or I'm not really call it a failure, but as far as the expectations I was trying to get out of it, it was a failed type of mission. But it's one of those go back to the drawing board. If this don't work, I can just adjust it a little bit right here and switch it up a little bit right there. And then also finding what you're actually good at it and enjoy doing because somebody look at me and be like, man, uh, I, I just watched somebody stream for three hours and they made this much. I can play the game too. But it's like, it, it's a little more than just playing the game because, and everyone has their own talent. So there's someone, I've watched videos on how to make eggs a different way. Like Sunny Side Up, I learned that off of YouTube. So yeah. for a person who knows how to cook or who knows how to build stuff, there's people who will watch that and learn something off that and then you get paid off that content. It's just not as flashy as a, a, a quote unquote entertainer you feel me so everybody got something but most people want to go into the more flashier get all the attention deals but you gotta think about it 
Somebody, whoever made the refrigerator, you know they family set, but we don't know who did it. <laughs> I, I don't know who created the mirror, but they family probably successful. So <laughs> it's just one of those deals to where you got to uh, figure out what you want to get into it for. If you want to get in to be famous, okay. If you want to get in to make money, because those are like, they can go hand in hand once you line and put them together, but you can be famous when broke or you can be uh, super rich, but nobody knows you. So it's just one of those, what you kind of want to go into creating the content for, if that makes sense. Oh no, that was that was perfect, bro. For real. I, if anybody ain't get that, they might have to play it back a couple times. That's all I'm. <laughs> DJ, bring it back, huh? You know, <laughs> straight up. Now, because I see you do a lot of anime, what like how did you find anime and the passion for it? Uh, I always had a huge imagination. I grew up with a lot of females in my family, so. Um, when I have to come home, they'll be playing Barbies or something. And I just, I pull my Goku figure out and I'm crashing through the dollhouse. I got Goku with 15 <laughs> females out here. We ain't telling Chi Chi nothing. And I'm blowing up cars and stuff. So all the sound effects and all, I've been doing that, honestly. It's just, I mean, <laughs> kind of figured a way out to make it look acceptable as an adult. So it's like, man, from, <laughs> from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh, I know it's just been kind of in my own element of how I like to express myself. And then I just... Hey, it just adjusted. Now I'm an adult doing it, so hey. Yeah, I feel <laughs> yeah, so. Was it the Toonami? Did you used to catch all of them on Toonami? Yep. Yes, yep. Sir. Shouts out to Tom. Hey, that's the Tom. <laughs> I, know. I know everybody met Tom on MySpace, but Tom from Toonami, hey, put me on a lot of game. Man, I always when he always had like he was smooth with it. You see him walking out, getting mm -hmm. on the spaceship. I'm like, yo, man, where this dude? Yeah. Man, I always <laughs> wanted to take his helmet off, man. See what was up. Exactly. Tom done died a couple times too. Tom was always going through it. Get to be the only person up there. You show going through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. Straight up. Now, are you just purely anime or do you do manga as well? Yeah, I do manga, but it, that fan base is a little more critical than it is anime. It's like one of those, like the comic book community. If you, if I was to go on and talk about something like, oh yeah, well, Superman did this and Superman's weakest and a weakness is something like this. Well, actually, if you read issue 32, it clearly states that Superman once did this. And if you were actual studying your craft, you wouldn't know Superman. And I ain't got time to be going back and forth to all that. So when it comes to anime, <laughs> even though you still got to know a little bit what you're talking about, it can still be generalized. So yeah, you write right about that ideas. Superman. You write about that Superman, me and my brother. I'm a Superman fan, for real. But me and my yeah. brother, We'll be going at it and I'll call something out. He'd be like, nah, mm -mm, not on this one. And I was like, dude, why are you reading this stuff, man? Just, just watch yeah. the movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole, with folks. Straight up. Now, um, the new season's out. So do you want to talk about any of the up and coming episodes that you looked at for Attack on Titan? Or do you want to just talk about some previous stuff? Hey, I, we can talk about both, dang it, because I've definitely been on that rumbling, rumbling. I've definitely been watching that attack on Tay. Yes, sir. Man, it's, I, it's man. With the feelings. So, all right. All right. So, let's see. Do you think Aaron is just a flat out bad guy or is he something more? So, I, I cheated and read the manga instead of just waiting for the anime and then kind of comparing and contrasting. But, I don't think he's a bad guy with the type of world that they live in. It's just one of those, they call it a product of your environment. All right. It's unfortunate, but hey, it's one of those, don't blame me, blame society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I read the manga now. Don't get, I, I done read it. I'm like, I've been waiting to see it animated. That's all I've been doing. I'm like, this, sitting there rubbing and, my hands. And, and then if you think about it, you know when Aaron had crashed the other side of the party and went crazy on their island, he really didn't do anything until Buddy declared war on Aaron. So technically, he really didn't. It wasn't like he just went and destroyed the folks that we got claimed to claim war on Aaron Yeager, and that's when he attacked them. So yeah, eh, he they, they started just, now. They ain't think it was gonna happen that quick. Like, give us a couple True, months. Yeah, let's go <laughs> see him. Let's get the damn already. Yeah. <laughs> Because what was one video you did about that episode? You was like how Buddy was just sitting there just looking like, up. Oh, this is it. Yeah, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yep. It's, <laughs> yep. It's a wrap. Mugger, okay, yeah, he caught him lacking, but they was already at war technically since he claimed it. So Yeah. Right. What'd you say? What was it? When the uh when the Warhammer Titan started popping up and he just mm. got to work in the working. <laughs> <man. laughs> he was like, really went crazy. <laughs> in fact, and then that also kind of showed his uh 
his character growth because the only reason he whooped on the Warhammer because he noticed her Titan transformation was different from everybody else. Like, we ain't never changed from the feet up now. Huh? Something ain't right about that. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, Pete Gang. So that just, uh, I think they did great or they're doing a good job on just trying to put action in the midst of like government politics in the midst of stuff that's just kind of random to us but still has a little history behind it. So it, because, yeah, it, yeah, I think they did a good job. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Especially like you said, she was doing a different type of cosplay from the feet up. You're like, man, mm -hmm. you don't get down like that. And you write about the social mm -hmm. economics of social structure because who's really like you said, they came from product of their environment. You got the people over here who the same blood calling them island devils. I'm like, God, right. Really? Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> like them your cousins. And you like, nah. Right around, man. <laughs> Facts. Like, y'all got the same last name? Nah, man, I don't know them people. You know I don't know like? them people on the real. I don't know them. <laughs> so, what is your favorite anime? Like, what's that one where you like, man, I can watch this a million times over? Man, if all, all the stuff I usually rewatch would be like Yu Yu Hakusho, um, Samurai Champloo, um, Dragon Ball, of course. Yu Yu Hakusho, Samurai Champloo, Dragon Ball, and Naruto are probably like the things I just always rewatch for just whatever random reason. And that fifth slot, I really don't know what I want to put in there because I, I I started Toriko and I like that, but I haven't finished it just yet. Okay. Um, I like the One Punch Man as well, but yeah, I haven't finished that just yet either. So that fifth slot, I'm not sure just yet. But as far as those, my top four that I just always randomly re rewatch. Okay. I haven't watched Full Metal all the way yet either. So it's stuff like that that. Yeah, I gotta watch before I can really have a solidified top five. Let me think, cause I watched both versions of Full Metal. Mm -hmm. Now what's so, the difference? I know they have, yeah, can you tell me the difference? Uh, everything, like, for real, like, okay. like at first they kind of start off the same, but the artwork's different and the storyline is completely different. Like they changed the aspect of his father and the original one. And then <laughs> in the second one followed, the Brotherhood follows the manga for what it actually uh, full so metal like a dragon ball gt yeah yeah we'll run with that yeah like they just like nah man chalk everything up we're gonna do something new endings are completely different even when they came out with that movie back in the day it had nothing to do with brotherhood mm. but everybody got so mad they was like nah bring out brotherhood that's the only reason why it came mm. back like that straight up mm. but it's both of them got some cold endings though like they both have their own lane where they both work, okay. you know what I'm saying? Um, you ever seen G Gundam? Hey, which gun is that? The, the one with Domo. Uh, I only, yeah. only I watched the Gundam series. I watched was a I ain't gonna call it weak because I definitely was watching it as a kid. But compared to all the other gun Gundam franchises, it was whack. They were like chibi Gundams. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the only gun. <laughs> and then the other one I watched a little bit of, I was too young to really understand the seriousness of it. I just seen some huge megazords in my eyes fighting. So I really don't remember no characters. I just remember a whole bunch of megazords throwing hands. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, G Gundam was crazy. It's funny as all get out though. Because like when I watched it, when I first watched it, I was like, it was serious. You know, I'm like, oh man, they really, it's really real. But that second mm -hmm. one, when I watched it, as when I got older, I was like, man, that's some funny stuff, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he was like, get mad, get mad. And I was like, why, why is he coaching them like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so with your videos, do you just free for all of them? Like, you know what I mean? Just off the top? Yeah, um, 50% like, I don't write anything down, but I have a specific point I'm trying to make in the video. So if I'm talking about this character, like I just made one today talking about why Hisoka is a clutch character. So I put his, yeah, I get the clips. I'm, I'm trying to prove that Hisoka is a clutch character. And after I put that together, then I, yeah, free, free flow. Okay. So it's not really uh, just me getting random clips and putting it together. Cause I got a point I'm trying to reach, but I'm not really thinking about stuff I'm gonna say, trying to get to that point. Okay, man, because I'm telling yeah. you, I, I, when I be catching you doing, I be like, man, I ain't come up with that. Like, I be dying, like, trying to figure out, like, the flight, how you be just speed through them, pow, pow, pow. Like, they ain't no, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I'd hate to get into a road session with him, man. It'd be murder. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I remember I watched one of your videos. You went down to Texas for one of the, the, tournament, of, the tournament of Power. Oh, your Funimation. Panel. So, how was that? Like, how, how did you yep. enjoy that? 
that was cool and it was a like a right on time blessing because that was like when I got my first page deleted it was like in the in the midst of the same week like I got my first page deleted when I was down there so Man. it was like sheesh my page is deleted but at least I was able to present some type of opportunity or networking from what I just kind of built up so it was like, damn, that's too messed up. But at least I was able to take a trip to Funimation off that first page. So even though it got got, it got me to Texas for a quick trip. So <laughs> Man, uh, that's yeah. wild. Facts, right? I mean, my feelings low key, but it is what it is. I always look at the pages being deleted, like uh, having to play a game that you didn't save. So when you have to restart the same mission, even though you got to do the same mission, you know how to go about it a different way. Like, you know. There's some better collectibles over here, or I need I can go around this way to avoid this thing. So one of those uh I was able to renew myself with the process. But the trip to Texas was cool though. The panel, I didn't score any points on it, but I had some solid answers and then they aged well. Like yes, the sir. tournament of power wasn't over yet, but when they was talking about how Android 17 had the most noble sacrifice, well, he might not be dead. Then it turned out he wasn't even dead. So yeah. hey. <laughs> uh, Cause what was it I noticed about that? But that panel, it was a bunch. It seemed like it was more young kids that was writing the answers. Cause you was bringing up mm. like Cell Saga, all of that, and I'm like, yeah, these make sense. And then it was like, oh, everything from the Tournament of Power. I'm like, you was yeah. what you say? You was like, man, ain't nobody really watching all the shows. They just talking about this one. So I was yeah. like, yeah. facts. Yeah, you had some cold Thank answers. You. you ain't lying. I'm definitely on Thank you. Thank man. You. What was it? Oh yeah, you with Deshaun, uh, Daquan Wilshire. When you did that live, I think what was y'all at the gas station or something? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yo, he really wow. This ain't just in the video. <laughs> yeah, he really be on that. I mean, granted, he like the heat like everybody, they, they chill out, but he definitely that's his personality as well. So he do funny. Dude's definitely funny. Uh, I need to holler at him. I need to flame him one time for the one time just to make sure he ain't got rusty in his roasting. Because I do <laughs> notice as a content creator, it's, uh, like, even though people enjoy our uh, abilities to bring enjoyment to them, uh, eventually we have to convert what we're doing into a business or we kind of, like, because bills still got to be paid, food still got to be uh, cooked and bought and all that good stuff. So turning it into a business kind of will diminish the joy in people in a sense. It's like somebody who loves playing basketball, but then when they get a part of a major team, they got to see the business side of it and take the fun of basketball out of things. So just trying to keep other comedic talents uh, pretty sharp because a lot of comedians, even though they're funny, they really kind of, I don't want to say twisted in the head, but misunderstood. Because you view the world a different way, and then the way you view it is the way people find enjoyment out of it. But it's like, it's really not all the, the same thing that can make you laugh can make you cry. I just put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Man, you spitting game right now, dog. Like, you, you spitting that cold work. I'm saying, man. <laughs> hey, if y'all watch, when y'all watch this, man, y'all got to play this stuff back. Because if you're not, man, you're missing out on some gold right now. I'm telling you. Hey, hey, bro, you bringing them the gold. So, hey, shouts out to you. <laughs> So, what was your craziest experience at the expo? Um, which one are we talking about? For the tsunami one. Uh, uh Funimation Joy. Okay. Uh, oh uh, yeah, Funimation. My bad, bro. <laughs> what was the most? Uh, um, probably the man. <laughs> when we got there, they was talking about how they was gonna have some food and stuff for us to eat. So I kind of didn't eat breakfast because I'm expecting to have a nice little selection. Like in my mind, it's fun to make I'm gonna eat them. I ain't gonna call it cheap, but it was some left out ass bread and uh, some some fruit. I ain't really want to be a fan. It was just like, like that, I ain't gonna say that was the wildest thing, but that kind of stuck out to me the most. Cause it was like, man, I could have just ate fam. Like, I don't want no cheese cubes for breakfast. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so that, so that kind of had me a little twisted around, but to meet the voice actors and to walk around the studio and uh, meet like the person who voiced over Radis is the same voice as Yusuke Urameshi. So just to see different people and how they're versatile in their voices like chris sabby who's like vegeta piccolo uh king kai all might uh a couple of people and it's just like wow this all these characters came out this one man so this is interesting to see that was probably the most interesting thing to really just look around and observe and things of that nature for the most part okay yeah, that food had me pissed Most <laughs> of some yeah, some grapes on the borderline of turning to raisins. So that happened, yeah, but <laughs> so I thought it was cool. It was smooth. 
make you want to knock over the table and everything. Just yeah, what? Like I'm losing the Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your Happy Monday segment, um, what motivated that to start putting that on your page? Uh, well, you can't spell motivation or Monday without Mo. And I always kind of had a, uh, a uh, the glass is half full type of perspective. And I like to just, having a community, I don't want people to look at me and be like, oh yeah, well this guy doing this and this guy doing that. But like, you can do this too. Like the internet is fair game. At the end of the day, we all have the same tools to do what someone else is doing. It's just how well you choose to learn these tools at the end of the day. And being a community, I feel like if everyone knows something different, that's better on my behalf as well because I'd rather shop with somebody in my own community than have to go somewhere else to get it. So if I can make a video that might motivate you to learn what you need to do and keep it pushing, then hey, I can do my part. But yeah, I don't want to have to, let's say if I was outsourcing to make t-shirts and there's somebody in my community that make t-shirts, I'd rather do business with you. But yeah. if you ain't motivated to do it yet, if this video can't help you get off your ass and get motivated, then hey, it all goes full circle. Hey. Like, the, like I said, the internet be up one day and be down tomorrow. So. I don't really never take it for granted. A person, all it takes is one video and boom, your whole life can change. Yeah, that's facts, man. Because like you said, internet is all over the place. I saw Facebook, when Facebook and uh, Instagram went down, I saw mm -hmm. a lot of people lose their mind. I thought it was about to go back to the dark ages or something. <laughs> <laughs> when people was acting, they was tearing up some man. stuff. Man, <laughs> don't know what to do without it. Now, um, any words of encourage, encouragement for the people watching before we sign off? Um, be the best you that you can be for the most part, because like I said, everybody got a different talent and don't compare yourself to no one. Like there's always gonna be someone better, but what someone's doing, what you're doing now is better than a lot of other people. Like I might not be living the way I wanna live right now, but I'm way more, uh, I'm living a better life than a homeless person. So I, even though I may be like, damn, I can't wait to get a mansion. It's on, man, I wish I had a crib in general. So it's just one of those, like, you got what you need at the moment. You just got to alter your mind to get what you want at the end of the day. So Because it's fair game. It's fair game. If you, it's, all it is is just learning what you need to know in order to do what you want to do. So hey, folks, you got to, whether it's adjusting your schedule, adjusting your eating habits, adjusting what you do on the daily, because time goes by and people really don't know how much time they actually spend over doing something small like a person can spend all i'm saying people spend all day just playing the game not streaming not doing it for research purposes they just send down eight to ten hours playing the game then they wonder the next day why none of that shit working because you just spent eight to ten hours playing the game but you won't spend three hours on focusing on a craft you want to try so just yeah. gotta adjust yourself and fix your mind to do what you need to do for the most part. that man yo, that advice. was that was awesome bro for real Cause a lot of people be, you know, complaining about time. Like you said, they'll binge watch a whole episode, like binge watch a whole series, and then say, "Man, I only got an hour left to do something." Like, come on, mm -hmm. so you yeah, made yeah. facts. Facts. So yeah, it's all about choices. That's the only thing that makes people different is the choices they done made, essentially. So yeah, man, we all got. To, yeah, it's the choices. That's the best thing I can say. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave your page uh, information down in the description. So y'all watched it. Please go show my boy some love. Make sure that they don't have no, what is it? The YouTube looking for some fake subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> nah, make him make sure he's keeping all the real ones on there. Go show him some love, man. Once again, I really appreciate it, dog. I'm telling you, you made my whole day, man, for real. Hey, boys, Arthur, thank you for having me, man. I, I truly appreciate it. This energy helps me keep going. Like, I'm probably going to drop that Hisoka video once we get off here. Okay. I'm going to try to stick <laughs> at the bumper. Might as well drop it now. Like, I got time today. Might as well do it today. <laughs> man, I appreciate it, man. So everybody who's watched this video, if you haven't yet, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Justice.